Hi, this is Farm Dr. Shama Violet. So first of all, download this app, Canva. Then, yeah, the way you go to your Play Store or your Apple Store, download Canva. When you're done, you open it. Then you register with your mail with this arrow here at the menu. You start with your mail and login. Okay? Then, let's start designing. First of all, the plus, plus or add uh, icon. Click on it start search for your templates we have so many template free templates you can work on we have frames we have lines and shapes we have graphics we have photos depending it's under elements if you don't want to work with them you can search for the specific ones you want to work with like right now we want to look for frame we want to start designing with something okay so we're gonna choose this then go so we want to show you how to basically add an image to a frame right now and we want to add this video to it so this is just starting from scratch and you want to start designing with something this one is just for adding frame to this so let's go to our basic main design so we want to design this from scratch right now you go to your canva so we go to our template and search for the size that we need for the design but when we don't see we can still customize by clicking on the add icon and write our width and height inches and create a new design with the size desired size okay just like we did here okay so right now we want to go get our image that we've already downloaded the image from internet because at times we may not see things that we need at the search um this thing so we we'll go to search upload the upload the one that we've already uploaded is in our yeah this thing we have to upload it here okay or you can search for the one canva have and still get to make use of it if you like those images the free ones so unless you are being you are subscribed to the pro version of it all right so right now uh, we want to search for curve shapes to start designing with our stuff you know we are starting we are designing from scratch we are not using the free templates you can actually use free templates if you like some of them then you start re-editing them to your taste but right now we just want to start from scratch and the sizes that uh we saw is not you know we don't really like it so we started from scratch from the width and length design we showed you previously so right now this cuff shape let's start with what we are saying before this cuff shape we want to duplicate it because we want to design it in a way that it will look creative okay so just like it is now we are duplicating it and you know when you want to duplicate we have come to your down icon you see so many things they duplicate color effect if you scroll you will see many of them there too okay so uh we want to change colors now one of the templates we want to change it to something good so we want to use white to demarcate the both color you know we duplicated this color the light blue and now we change the upper one to white so that we can position them the way we want it then this shoe we want to position it but we find out that the shoe is behind the frame what do we do we go down to your down icon look for position just like the way we saw it there at the position you will see forward or backward or left whatever you want to choose forward then the shoe is now forward just like the way you see it now right so so let's start with the main business right now now we click on the color icon you want to change the first frame the color to navy blue so the navy blue tada so we've changed it like this just look closely on how we are going to work on this do well to follow up then the second we have to highlight the first this the first light blue i want to change the color to 
we are letting them you see now we change it to ash that ash okay so that it will rhyme with the shoe color and uh the test you can see so that it will know you know one thing about design is color too color also can make your design can communicate well to what you're trying to you know design can communicate well with your audience with what you're trying to design okay right now see the shoe one thing about good design uh canvas is that the photo the photo colors it will let you see the photo colors if you really want to work with the photo colors you can choose any of the photo colors and work with it so that it will rhyme up with what you are doing okay that's one good thing about uh canva to still list you list for you the photo colors right now you want to work with the, the shoe color the photo you want to use it to design the things we are designing right now okay all right you can see we have frame one two the down one three and here okay so we've changed the colors the background the frame one and the frame two so let's go to add plus icon to add our shape that we want to add here so the curve shape uh, you look for the shape that you want you know we don't want the curve shape the previous one we used so right now we want to type in something else and which is we want to type uh the shape day okay let's look for dynamic so the dynamic that we have we want to just look for okay, this one then you adjust it to your test adjustment just look out then we are done with one then we want to look for another one so the magic recommendation that's where we picked this one from okay we want this one uh, we are designing with it so just like it is right now just like it is right now so this is how we're gonna work just stay back and uh you know look out for what we are doing right now here so let's add another thing to the image we want to look for seal tag you know when you come to search option we have so many things like these ones are free icons so we want to use this particular one uh, i like it so you place it on the shoe just like the image that you can still click on the image and change the colors like this one it was black before we changed it to white and ash we changed the white to ash we changed the black to you know dark darker ash just like the way it is you can still change the change the colors so now let's start where we stop adjustment 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 okay when you want to add your text option you can still go to add you see a text option down below then you start editing with your text option for people who find it difficult locating it go to your add option you will see elements you will see photos graphic just go to scroll go to text okay then click on it and start editing you go to your font if you don't like this font you can adjust so many there are so many free fonts there you can still work with there are so many though there are some that are also pro version but as a beginner with canva just try and make and utilize the free templates free option free things in canva you can still make a powerful design out of it okay so okay this one is okay so we've done this so for you to lessen your your stress of going back to the text option you can easily duplicate your text and re-edit you get instead of you to go back to the text option you can just simply duplicate the text your previous text then delete the the text at the duplicate and re-add a new text to it just like the way we are doing it right now okay instead of you to go back to the text to plus icon look for text just simply duplicate the previous whatever then if you don't like the font you can still go to font and readjust what you've done like right now you want a uh, league gothic okay that one is still not okay you just want to choose this one okay so
again one most important thing about design is alignment make sure you align your design perfectly okay our design is ready ready i hope you like it do us to share like and comment